Shalom. Welcome to Divine Marriage Program Online. We are grateful to God. He has given us another week. I hope that your weekend was good and you have begun the week well. Again, we are in a new month and we are grateful to God for giving us another month. And we pray that this month that God is going to establish you and empower you in every way in life. Even our marriages uh, will take another turn in this new month. It's August. The eighth number means a new beginning. I pray that you will have a new beginning. And I know this month there are so many anniversaries. Marriage anniversaries are so many because many people marry in August, April, and also December. Uh, welcome to Divine Marriage Program. I am Apostle Domiziano Mwenda, and we are together with my wife, Pastor Florida Mwenda, and we are grateful to God again uh, for making us come to you again live today, and we are expectant and uh, uh, we know God is, is going to speak to us, uh, build our lives, and uh, our marriage life is not going to be the same again. We have also come to encourage you, and uh, we know that God is going to speak to your heart. You are going to be uh, encouraged and also uh, be inspired to see the reason why you should go on with marriage life. And not just going on, that you may begin to enjoy and uh, be happy. It's nice to have a marriage that is working. Uh, marriage that is working uh, is a good thing here on earth. Remember, there is no marriage uh, uh, in heaven. We are only given this privilege to enjoy the marriage here on earth. And later we shall live like angels. So those who don't make their marriage work and succeed here on earth, they will not have an opportunity again to get married after this life. And I don't know, uh, understand why you should settle for less when God has blessed you with much. You need to go for much. And God knew that this marriage or marriage will work. And that is why he also gave you this uh, privilege to get married. And those who are not yet married, you get married in a divine manner. And you are going to glorify God when we purpose to do that. Uh, again, I want to remind you that uh, the spouse you have married uh, determines a lot if you are going to be successful in life or not. Whether it's wife or husband. If you are a man, if you get a noble wife or good wife, you have obtained a good thing. Uh, from, and then you, got, you get favor from God. So your wife will determine how much uh, you will go in life because she is a helper. She's coming uh, to help you. So if you have no vision, uh, or if you have good vision and God and a good helper, then those visions will become a reality and your life will go high. If you have a big vision, you get a bad helper, then you will be sabotaged and you will not be able to reach where you are supposed to reach in life. And uh, if you are a good wife and good helper, God married uh, to, a good, uh, to a good husband also, uh, you will have the vision to fulfill and your life will go great and you'll become great in life. If you get a man without a vision, then he has managed to render you idle the rest of your life and you will not have anything to do because you are an helper or you start helping others uh, to achieve what they need to achieve and this will never benefit you because you are helping others and uh, not where you are supposed to be helping. Uh, you help other men, not your husband. And you help other things, not your marriage. So this is not uh, what God ordained you for. I pray that you get to the good husband, to good wife. Men, you are supposed to be that key leader in that relationship. You are not supposed to allow the woman to nag you. And this is what we are facing today in this generation. Uh, men are becoming reluctant when it comes to relationship issues. We have become passive. 
and we are no longer pursuing women for relationship. It is women who have taken over now, in this generation especially. Those who are below 30 years now, they are getting it rough because it's women who are now there. Because the women have said, if we keep quiet, these brothers are not going to talk. So we have to start them to talk. And I don't know how long this one will continue, but there is something abnormal about it. Mm -hmm. It's men who are supposed to take leadership and lead the woman in the relationship. And once the woman is led in the relationship, I believe she is able to, uh, to take over also and uh, begin to develop herself and develop others. Uh, welcome to Define Marriage uh, program online. Please let us know where you are tuned in uh, from and you are free also to share this broadcast with your friends and host watch parties. Don't just watch alone. Uh, we have received testimonies. People are giving life to Jesus through this ma uh, 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 Divine Marriage program. We purpose to touch families but we are touching every area. Many people are testifying about the restoration of their jobs, restoration of their families. Uh, today I'm happy uh, we were talking to somebody and uh, the family had been broken and uh, now uh, the person testifying and told me uh, what, what, what exactly what you said is what happened. I gave him direction to do and he followed the direction and uh, the family is now restored. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I have so many people that have a testimony of uh, that God is touching their marriage and their marriage is being reconciled. Remember, uh, the spirit of Elijah will go out to prepare to restore the spirit of the son to the father, the spirit of the father to the son before that great day. If that does not happen, then God will strike the world with a curse. And uh, we are moving out with that spirit of Elijah to speak, to reconcile marriages. You have, we remind you again, you have not succeeded in life until you succeed in marriage. Mm -hmm. So if you have not succeeded in marriage, you have not yet succeeded. A marriage should be uh, held in honor by all men. It's an honorable thing. It should be held with honor by all men. And uh, the bed is supposed to be kept pure. So you are supposed to honor your own marriage and not only that, you are supposed to maintain integrity in marriage and we're going to be blessed. We have dealt with discontentment and that has touched so many people. They have uh, come to realize there are so many people living with spouses that they are not contented about. They are not satisfied. And this is a problem. This is a sickness. And we believe that God has healed you. And if you, in case you are joining us today for the first time, you have not followed other programs, go to my YouTube channel at Apostle Domiziano Menda. Get the other messages. And they are going to help you a lot uh, to establish your relationship. We, we have done so much in this uh, uh, season of COVID-19. Uh, when we realize that we need to speak and begin to work out in family and we have covered so much and uh, our aim is to restore you back to the honor of god we are raising and equipping godly families and we believe that before the end of this season before we get busy in other works and we, we may not be meeting you the way we have been doing uh, weekly, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. We may not do that because of our other uh, schedules. But we believe by end of this, even if COVID-19 ends today and we resume back to our full uh, work uh, in ministry, uh, I want to say for sure marriages cannot remain the same again. That is a, a guarantee I have, that marriage will not uh, remain the same again. Those who have gotten connected to this program, I believe God has done something in their lives. And uh, for the remaining few days, we don't know how many days, we are going to give you any other information that you need and you are going to be developed. Remember, there is no perfect man, there is no perfect woman. We are all raw materials. You did not get a finished product, you got a raw material. And you have to work it out to get the finished product. Therefore, you have to marry this, you have to love this imperfect person perfectly. And that is how marriage works. And you are not supposed to give up on this person. You refuse to give up on them until you make them what you have decided mm -hmm. yeah. in your heart. And I want to say, many people have the dream of their marriage, but they have not been able to bring it out 
you the husband that you you married or the husband that you imagine does not exist in reality and the wife that you are talking about does not exist in reality you have to bring them out you have to manifest and a good husband is the one who is able to call the good wife out of his wife and manifest her. and the, the good wife is a, a wife that is able to call the good man inside a husband and bring him out and manifest him to the world and this is what we are training you to do and today we have entered a very important uh, topic it's important we we touched it on the order of God's plan for marriage, God kind of marriage, and today we want to go into it deep as a topic, and because we have realized it is affecting so much uh, in marriage, and so many people have come out to speak about the same issue, and we want to give you the direction for today. We are talking about transparency in marriage, and uh, I want you to tell us, should there be transparency in marriage? Should there be transparency in marriage? And who is supposed to be transparent if now there is transparency in marriage? That's my question for tonight. Mm -hmm. Should there be transparency in marriage? And who is supposed to be transparent? Husband or wife or both? Please answer my question. Who is supposed to be transparent if there is transparency in marriage? Who is supposed to be transparent? Husband, wife, or both? Because I, I have the reason to ask that question. But please answer me. And if you are po if possible, you can also uh, pose that question to your friends and write it and share with them. And also, we allow you to share the link of this broadcast to your friends and we are going to be blessed tonight in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome my wife now to lead us in the word of prayer and uh, straight away we shall go to the topic of today. We shall discuss about transparency in marriage relationship. Transparency in marriage relationship and we desire that you send us your contribution, comment, and God is going to help you. If you have any question about transparency, the way I've asked, don't ask me the way I've asked you, because there's people who can easily ask me, tell us who is that. I will tell you, but I want you to answer my question first, and God is going to bless us. Welcome, my dear, and lead us in the word of prayer. Amen, amen, thank you very much. Uh, we. Welcome everybody and we thank God for giving us another month, the month of August. And I believe the Lord is giving everyone who is trusting upon him a new beginning. And especially even in marriage, that the Lord will do something new. The Lord will establish and say to you in marriage, whatever has never worked, that this month the Lord will cause it to work. Maybe Amen. you have walked in shame. You have walked in bow, bowing your head down. It is our prayer that the Lord who is the lifter of our hands. You will come through and you lift up your hand. Amen. And all the gates that must open up this month, the Lord will cause those uh, gates and the doors that you have been knocking, that he will open them for you, for his own glory. Amen. So do not fear. Still, uh, the months that are remaining, uh, they are, those are months that, are, that the Lord can do a lot. And uh, God cannot lie. If he spoke something beginning of this month, no matter how the devil has tried maybe to, to do some things, I want to assure you that Lord is, God is determined to perform his word in your life. So as a couple, even as an individual, don't be worried because the heavens and the earth will pass away but the word of god will come to pass even a dot of the word of god will come to pass every kind of uh terminal illnesses we want to trust the lord that in this uh very night that we are talking to you here that the lord will heal you completely 
every kind of attack, even in your finances, that the, 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 the Lord will come through. Those that are trusting God from businesses, divine ideas, from jobs, we trust the Lord that he will come through and you answer your prayer. He will hear because uh, our God is not deaf. As my dear husband has uh, said, kindly you can ask uh, questions and also you can make your contribution and especially related to what we are talking mm, because mm. there are some questions, even some people they ask, you see uh, they are not serious <laughs> what they are asking. Uh, it's not related to what uh, maybe we are discussing. So don't just bring uh, anything that is not building. Let us uh, focus uh, on the things that will build us up for the glory and honor of the name of God. Let us pray so that uh, we begin our topic uh, on transparency. And uh, it is my prayer that even if there is something that was hidden somewhere, there will be a new beginning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we give praise to you. We give glory, honor, and adoration to your wonderful name. Yes, Oh God, you're so beautiful. Yes, you are God who is uh, an excellent God. You are God who gives new beginnings. And you're the Lord who perfects everything that concerns our lives. And every good work that you started in our lives, in our families, you always perfect. We honor you, Father, for bringing us this far. We honor you for strengthening us. Even during the time uh, of troubles, you have been there to answer us. Even when we felt that we are weak, we cannot move forward. You came through, Lord. When darkness struck, you became our light. When hopelessness was in our lives, God, you became our hope. Oh, you are so good. We say thank you. We bless you and we exhort you. You are so powerful and so mighty that there's nothing that can challenge you, Lord. Thank you because of our lives, our destinies, our families, Lord, our marriages, our children, everything that you've given unto us tonight, we appreciate, Lord. Even what we were desiring to see happen and it has not happened, I know you can never be late. Yes. And that which you have decided to do, you always do during the right time yes, because you are the Lord who sets times and seasons. Yes. And the times and seasons that Lord you've given unto the righteous, nothing can tamper, nothing can interfere with it. And even the promises of this year, Lord, we know you are faithful and you are true to your word. There is no fear because we have overcome. We thank you, Father, for the glory that is being revealed in our lives. We thank you because of all believers. I pray God for restoration, for renewal. Even them that have given up, even them that Lord might have backslid them restore people to you restore them back to you we commit this program unto you lord that you lead us that you guide us that your holy spirit will come through us the lord that which we are supposed to speak you release unto us anoint us with the anointing of revelation and understanding we thank you and we bless your name yes, we cover ourselves with the blood of jesus, yes, jesus. we cover whatever our Lord, uh, medium we are using with the precious blood of Jesus. We scatter the plans of the yes. devil. We destroy the tactics of the evil one yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Whoever might be sick, Lord, and he or she is desiring to hear these runs, we release healing right away. Yes. Let your people be set free from every bondage of yes, the devil. Lord. Sicknesses are not the portion sure. of the righteous. Sure. You sent thy word and you healed us all our diseases yes. and we decree healing is our portion. Yes, Have your way and cause your name, Lord, to be glorified and it is in Jesus' name we have prayed and we have believed. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 God bless you. We can see some people already uh, they are on board. Tabitha, we have missed you for a while. God bless you. I can see uh, Kitonga. I can see Msembi. <laughs> the men of God, you are already on board. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord do you good. Pastor Mwenda, uh, Pastor Mudoka, we thank God for you and other men of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. We are always encouraged when we see you there. 
uh, we don't take it for granted. May the Lord bless you, bless your ministries, men of God, uh, the work that you're doing in the kingdom of God. It is God who can be a minister of the gospel. And I want to tell you, the Lord will come your way. The Lord will want you. Amen. Uh, those that are in other areas and know you are representing Christ in, in the institutions that you're working with, the Lord also give you breakthrough and uh, also empower you and strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight, we are talking about transparency. Yeah, transparency uh, in marriage. In marriage because uh, Be, it is... Yeah, it before is, you go tonight, you remind <laughs> them what we left last week so that some of us who are just catching up with us, yeah. they will understand mm. so that they will not be hanging yes. as we continue to learn about transparency in marriage today. Yeah, we were discussing about discontentment. Yeah. And uh, we, we understood that uh, there are people who are in marriage, but they are not discontent. They are not in discontent. And, uh, they man, are not content. They are not content, I mean. Uh, a husband is having a wife, a wife, and this man is just feeling that it's like uh, if he gets another opportunity, he gets another he can chance, remarry. he can remarry a wife who is not By content. By the way, you know, is less than 10% of Christian marriages that are comfortable. That's less than 10%. That's less than 10%. That's but we, we need to know even from our viewers, if God can change the law today, <laughs> we want you to tell us for sincere. And if God can change the law today and say, you are free to stay with the man you are yeah. married to or the woman, or you are free to change, let us know how many can marry they're still the same person who they are married today. I think you have heard that. <laughs> if the law changes today, yeah, and you're given an and you're given an opportunity to remarry, how many of us or how many of you tuned in can still marry the, the present man. or the same person the that you are married man. to, the same man, the same woman, and you are very comfortable. You will not remarry <laughs> because they're better the devil. I know that than the amazing. angel that I don't know. I don't know how many can do that. <laughs> some, but... some are saying, Apostle, do not lead us into temptation. No, no, no. Let us be sincere. We are talking about transparency today. Yeah. So we need, <laughs> we need to hear that. Welcome, Carol. Yeah, we, we love you. We pray for you. And yeah. God is good. And God is going to bless you. You are a very kind-hearted woman. And yeah. we thank God for you God, and for your you. life. And yes. your destiny is Big. Amen. And amen. good plan is coming for Praise you this Lord. month amen. and months that are left for this year. Amen. And you are going to end the year with that testimony. That smile yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. And the devil can do nothing about that. Amen. Yes, that's the portion of Caro Munai. Mm -hmm. And uh, may the Lord bless you, Caro. Uh, you are an exceptional woman of God. And we treasure uh, the gift of God in you. God bless you. Yeah, as you've been asked, how many, how many truly who are very sincere and you're saying, ah, if I get another chance, it's only this man that I can, I can retain. It's this woman that I can remarry. Uh, we, we would wish to hear that uh, because, as, as, as you have seen, when it comes to Christian family, yeah, even many anointed men mm. and women of God. Mm -hmm. Especially those who see their wives and their husbands as devils. Uh, mm. I don't know how many can remarry the very, very woman, the very, very man. We would wish to hear from you, but uh, 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 are you content? Are you comfortable with still that, that, that woman or that man? Or when you are going to prayer somewhere in a prayer mountain, in a prayer center in a cave in a forest somewhere, you're going to tell God, really, are you the one who spoke? Are you the one who led me? Uh, God, I would, I would wish you to confirm. Those are the kind of prayers that you're approaching God with every time uh, because there is that vacuum. You, you are not comfortable. You are not content at all. You are ashamed even to walk with that woman. You are ashamed to walk with that man. You are ashamed even to associate yourself with that person. We would w wish to hear from you because uh, we understood it is, it is, it is a, a plague. It mm -hmm. is a spiritual plague and it is eating many people up. It is something that uh, 
we need to deal with and uh, we we are supposed to be liberated yeah. in our minds mm. we are supposed to be liberated in our soul because if that liberation is not there even if you marry 10 of them mm. you'll never be comfortable so and, long uh, and yeah, the experience yeah he had the experience and that's why he spoke uh, in the book of ecclesiastes where, where we read mm. that you you can be given riches wealth and all those things but because you, you have been denied uh, the spirit of contentment. Mm. Another comes, a foreigner comes and, and, enjoys. and enjoys what 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 you have been uh, laboring for. Mm. Why? That uh, demon will always uh, interfere with what you have gathered, with what you have secured. So even if you have secured a good marriage because of discontent, uh, you, you are ever discontented, you, you are always searching. You mm. are always looking if there is a better a better thing somewhere, if there is a, a green patch somewhere. Your eyes are denied to see well. Your heart is denied that 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 fulfillment. It is all about fulfillment. Mm. So if that fulfillment is not there, there is always a hunch. There is a last that is uh, that is working. In, in your life and uh, you you become a constant sinner mm -hmm. before before the Lord so you you can just yeah okay thank you very much uh, I hope you have understood that and uh, please answer my questions today um, <laughs> we are talking about transparency in marriage and uh, and I'd like to to you to answer my questions I started by asking this question uh, should there be transparency in marriage and if yes. Who is supposed to be transparent? The man, woman, or both of them? And because we know, I have the reason why I'm asking that. I wish I'll be giving you reasons in our, our program. But please, I want the, uh, the answer. Try to answer my question and I will be glad. Who is supposed to be transparent in marriage? If really marriage is supposed to be there must be transparency in marriage. Mm -hmm. And now this is an issue. Yeah. And it's a very big problem in most marriages and even in the marriages of men of God, pastors, believers who know God. Mm -hmm. This has been an issue. Yeah. Uh, there are people that when you want to touch them, you want to touch them in their lives and want to know how they, their dealings are. They will hide behind the scriptures. You will hear the, the men of God saying, Touch not <laughs> my, anointed. my anointed. Do my prophet, Do my no, prophet harm. no harm. Behind this is because the wife wants to know some things mm -hmm. that are, are supposed to be uh, known. Now, listen to this. Transparency. Should it be in marriage? My answer is yes. And we are discussing about it now in marriage. What is transparency? And you will tell me if really you want it to be marriage or you don't want it to be marriage. Mm -hmm. Transparency is the quality of being transparent. Yeah. Is that quality? You are transparent. And what is to be transparent? It is easy to see. Easy to see. Mm. So when you, something is transparent, you can easily see it through. You can easily see it through. Mm. It is easy to see or understand so in marriage a partner is supposed to be easy to see and easy to understand yeah please listen to me careful you must be easy that your husband is can see you as obvious 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 something that you don't struggle to learn about there is the a wife should not be struggling to learn about the husband and also the husband is not supposed to be struggling to learn about the wife. Mm -hmm. The wife is supposed to be easy to see through, easy to see through, easy to understand. Mm -hmm. When something is easy to see through, easy to understand, mm -hmm. then we say it's transparent. Then also, when it is clear and open, it's clear. Mm -hmm. So your, your husband is supposed to be clear. Open. And open. Yeah. That thing is uh, in marriage is very key. You are clear. Your convictions are clear. There should not be <laughs> the kind of doubts that your husband or your wife is supposed to feel 
like I'm doubting this, mm -hmm. or I'm feeling that I'm more comfortable with this, it should not be like that. You should be clear, clear. That this person will see you clearly and understand you clearly. You are clear. Amen. Then you are supposed to be open. And this is <clears throat> the meaning of transparent. Now, openness is that uh, ability or you are accessible to be uh, to uh, scrutiny. You are accessible to scrutiny. Yeah. In other words, you can be investigated. You can be asked questions. And you are not irritated. You can be audited. Yeah. And uh, your, your partner can, can ask you questions. And can, when you are, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are open to scrutiny, you can be asked questions. Mm. Where are you? Where yeah, are you yeah. coming? And you have no problem in answering. You are not irritated. But some people want to blackmail the others in marriage. Yeah. When I ask you where were you, say, are you doubting me? So <laughs> you don't want, yeah. you, you, you just want to block me away by your answer so that I will not know the right questions, the right answers from the questions I'm asking. And there are some marriages that people are not comfortable. You rather answer a question very well so that your, neighbor, your, your spouse will be comfortable or you are ready to deal with uncomfortable <laughs> or uncontent wife or husband in a marriage. And you know what the danger of discontentment. You understand the danger. So are you, how many couples are accessible to scrutiny? Mm -hmm. How many couples that you have, your phone is free? That you are, your husband can, can stay with your phone and the whole not, day? And not, not shaking. And you're not shaking. And yeah. you are, there is nothing hiding yeah. there. How many men that your wife can answer your calls? Or your wife can stay with your phone. You can give her and tell her and go with her phone today. Go and do something. Even something needed to be done with your phone. You can interchange even phone. I know there is a man who did that. And there was crisis. He gave, he forgot. He gave the wife. And he's a pastor. To, to make the matters worse. He gave the wife because his phone and a good camera. Then the wife's. And he's going for a mission and the wife is going for a bar, a relative bar. He could not make it. So he said, give me this because it has good songs. We have recorded good songs here because his memory is big. And I will take pictures. I will be able to send you photos and messages when I am there. But you, when you go with this, you are not going to use. You are going to preach. And the, the husband disagreed. But later, he changed his mind and gave the wife. And later, when the wife... And the phone. She was just scrolling the songs. And then she found recordings. Recordings of conversation with a lady who used to be their house manager sometimes back. And this, the, the conversation, I cannot like even to expose the details here. It was dirty. The wife got sick. She got an attack. She was look, looking for somebody to talk to. If she didn't get, there would be trouble. She had to run to us with the phone and everything before the husband came from the mission. And the husband is still preaching, casting demons and telling them out in the name of Jesus. Scream in Jesus' name. Manifest. And <laughs> it was funny. Funny. And even when he sinned with that lady, he had come from an international mission. And the first person to, when uh, uh, he touched the border of Kenya to talk to is that person. And he forgot he is recording. And all the dirty dealings were revealed. And I want to tell you that man cast the day. He gave that phone out. Are you, are you like him? Can you cast the day your, your wife got that phone or your husband? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking only about uh, husbands. Mm -hmm. I'm also talking about, about also wives. Yeah. So when the wife uh, has been uh, not straight, also things are not like that. Mm. So can you, can you be accessible yeah. to scrutiny? It, this, this is a question I'm asking, ladies and gentlemen.
And let us be sincere here. This is about marriage. Mm. And we come to you biblically and we show you. This one principle of godly family. This one principle of God idea of marriage. Mm. That is openness. Can you be open? Accept, uh, uh, be uh, accessible to scrutiny. Another one of openness is without secrecy. Without secrecy. There is no secret. Yeah. There should not be a secret between wife and husband. Even good friends, live about married friends, mm. they don't have secrets. So there must not be a secret between husband and wife. Mm. If you have a secret for any reason that you are hiding from your spouse, mm. that means there is no transparency in your marriage. And another meaning of this word is operating without boundaries. Mm. Operating without boundaries. You operate with your wife without boundaries. There's no boundary between the two of you. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many marriages with boundaries. There are so many marriages with boundaries that if you try to move into this, you have now overstepped, uh, overstepped yeah. your boundaries. So marriage is not supposed to have boundaries. So there are marriages that are having boundaries and these marriages are not experiencing transparency. So without boundary. And then without boundary also means naked. Mm. You are supposed to be naked. You are supposed to be naked. Naked is without covering. Yeah. Without covering. So there must not be covering in marriage. There is not covering. Covering in every area. You must be naked in your mind, naked in your spirit, naked in your heart, naked in your body before the other person. Yeah. There should not be anything covered before the two of you in marriage. So, are you naked? I know there is a man I was told, and it became a testimony. I was teaching about openness in marriage. That is the time I received that testimony in a couple seminar. Mm -hmm. After a couple seminar, I received that. And in that area, a man and separated from his wife, simply, and it became a case that was being held by, listened to and uh, tried to be mediated uh, by elders, the council of elders in the area. And what happened? The wife met the man bathing naked. <laughs> the wife got the man bathing naked naked huh? and <laughs> and uh, and uh, that became an issue how meet me during the day naked and you see me this is contrary <laughs> to our traditions <laughs> and the man told the wife to pack and go and it was an issue some years back a barbaric action took place in my rural village I was in form, I think, two or three or four at that time. So, there are some young men who were initiated through circumcision, and now there came notorious ladies, like criminal village girls, who wanted to investigate, because in our community, there is a lot of secrecy, and that tradition is bad. There is a lot of secrecy between husband and wife and men and women. Even when they are initiated, they are told to keep secrets. Yeah. They are not supposed to open mm. to one another. Yeah. So we teach people openness. They tell men, don't open. Don't allow the wife to know you are secret. Mm. So this, this is something that we're looking on even today. That's why I've asked my question again. Should there be transparency in marriage?